first weekend of November and fall is now in full swing. So joining us this morning to share some delicious fall recipes is Livermore chef Leslie Dabney, also known as the Vineyard Mom. Thank you so much for being here. We love having you on. And what did you bring for us here today? I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, Ella. It's fall. I love the tastes and flavors of fall. So I have a couple of great recipes, easy to make, but really celebrate this season. And the first recipe I have for you, I think it's going to be a favorite for everyone. And it's a versatile rest, uh, recipe. I'm going to be doing a butternut squash and kale pasta which I'm big butternut squash fan. How about you? I am too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> love it. And soup, salads, pasta. It is absolutely fantastic. So we're going to add a lot of great flavor to this. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of pancetta and garlic. And Ooh. the smell is so delicious right now. And if you don't have pancetta for some reason, you can obviously <laughs> use bacon. Why? Why don't you have pancetta? I know. Well, that's what I'm saying too. But I know everyone pretty much has the bacon. So I just saw sauteed my kale in um, this beautiful pancetta and garlic just so it will. That'll just take a few minutes. And I boiled some pasta ahead of time. And uh, what I did while that was boiling is I got my butternut squash ready. Mm -hmm. And so all I did was roast it. Very simply, I just diced it. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil, salt, pepper, and for some great flavor, I added a little bit of thyme. So we're going to add this as the main ingredient of this recipe. Recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my butternut squash. It smells fantastic. I'm going to add a little bit of the pasta here. And if you could pour the um, ch this cheese on there for me, that would be great. Sous Chef Ella. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. And that's just going to help us get a little bit of a sauce going. Yum. And the thing is, if you need a little bit more liquid, you can use the cooking liquid from your pasta. I'm going to use a little bit of veggie broth. And like I said, this is such a flexible recipe that if you're not a huge butternut squash fan, go ahead and use another squash or pumpkin. There's so many great vegetables out there right now. That just makes a delicious sauce. And I have one already done right here. Nice. And it is absolutely fantastic. And of course, you're gonna want me to pair the wine with this. So I'm gonna pair a delicious Merlot with that. Okay. With that pancetta and that kale. I'm telling you, that really, really brings out the flavor of that. So that's our first dish. Our second one is going to be some tri-colored carrots. Now, root vegetables are big seasonally right now. And I know a lot of people like to go to potatoes. But I'm thinking, let's <laughs> change it up a little bit. Let's get a little healthier. So I got these at my farmer's market. Do you go to your farmer's market often? Do you have one you close know, by? Unless I'm filling in on this show, I don't wake up early enough. <laughs> oh, okay, well, and you need to get up early for that's for sure. But you can get these at the grocery store too, because right now this is the season for the carrots. So I just diced them up. I put a little bit of salt and pepper and extra virgin olive oil. And to make this a really good pop of flavor, I have some fresh rosemary that I'm gonna put mm. right on top of it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the oven and bake it just like this, um, 450 degrees, really, mm. really hot. And it's gonna go for about 30 to 35 minutes. And you'll see here, I have it done. It's already just super golden brown and it's really sweet because the sugars that are in there mm. caramelize. And right when it comes out of the oven, I like to add a little more fresh herbs, a little bit of parsley really just makes the flavor pop. I love this recipe. And what's so great about it, Ella, it is healthy. But also, if you're gonna make it for four people or 40, it bakes in the same amount of time. You don't need to change it up at all. Super simple, you can bake all of that at the same time. So we've got two really delicious seasonal recipes that I think anyone can make, but I'm the vineyard mom, so you know I like to have an extra drink that's gonna celebrate fall, because why not? Lives up to the name. Absolutely. What do we have here? So this is the Merlot that we're gonna go ahead and put with this pasta dish and with the carrots. Mm -hmm. But if you wanna have a cocktail beforehand or maybe something Ooh. different, we have a fall sangria. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, why not? Fall sangria. They have I'm great sold. flavors. <laughs> I know, right? We're going to put um, apples in there. Mm -hmm. There's um, oranges. I have lemon juice, a little bit of brandy. Mm -hmm. And to make it really fall, Ella, I added some apple cider to it. 
and then a whole bottle of Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. And we're gonna, let's, let's add some um, pretty um, accoutrements to it. So let's do a slice of apple there okay. in each of them. And then maybe, like let's, this? yeah, sure. Okay. And then maybe just do a cinnamon stick because I did put some cinnamon in there. That gives it even more mm. of a really fun flair. And then, yeah, you can use it to um, swirl, a bit. swirl it around. And it's great if you make this for a party because you can make the whole thing ahead of time mm -hmm. but what I suggest is when you do put it in the refrigerator so that it has a chance to get all those great flavors together pour it over ice have some little um, garnishes ready to go and people can garnish it any way they want but I'm telling you this is such a fall favorite uh, you know for my I friends love and family all the colors it really is fitting for the season it and is the delicious. flavor medley here especially because you mentioned that the carrots are super sweet but then you put that thyme and the herbs on top so that combination I'm really curious to try. Oh, it's going to be a favorite, I promise. Especially with the holidays coming, why not change something up a little bit? Add some more root vegetables. And, and if you don't want to do just carrots, add some parsnips or some beets. That's all in season right now. And if you're not sure, head out to your farmer's market and see what they have and go from there. And then get inspired. So Absolutely. you're telling me it's worth waking up earlier. I think <laughs> it really is. I hope everyone still is giving, even though it's a little colder, I say give the farmer's market a try. Right. Put that scarf on and get out the door. All right, thank you so much to the Vineyard Mart for joining us here today and this special fall treat. Well, cheers. cheers to that and we'll see you guys soon.